I'm Robert Osborne. If I made a list of film directors I admire the most, on that list would certainly be Billy Wilder, Howard Hawks, Charles Lawton, William Wyler, Hitchcock, of course, and a few others. One of the most prominent on the list would certainly be Sidney Lumet, a five-time Academy Award nominee who made every kind of film, from courtroom dramas to drawing room murder mysteries, satires to musicals, and everything else in between. Well, during the next few hours, it's going to be wall-to-wall -wall lament right here on TCM, starting with a thoroughly entertaining mystery he directed in 1982, all full of twists and turns and great surprises. It's Death Trap, and it stars Michael Caine, Christopher Reeve, Diane Cannon, and the wonderful Irene Worth. It's based on what had become a huge Broadway success in the 1970s, written by Ira Levin, the author of Rosemary's Baby. Now, on Broadway, Death Trap was so popular, it went into the record books as the longest-running mystery play in Broadway history. Well, there was never any question it would eventually be made into a movie, one which, despite, to my mind, one instance of miscasting, seemed to please almost everybody who saw it. For Michael Caine appearing in it was kind of a bit of a throwback to the movie Sleuth, the thriller he'd made a few years earlier, which had also started as a Broadway play and involved people caught up in an intricate game of cat and mouse and murder, all set in a country house, as it is with Death Trap. But this time, Michael plays a Broadway playwright who, after years as the golden boy of the theater, suddenly has a reversal of fortune. His latest play flops, and he soon finds himself in a financial crunch. But then an unsolicited script arrives in the mail from a young writer who's a fan of Michael's and wants Michael's advice on this new play the young writer has written. And suddenly a devious plot is hatched whereby Michael will steal that script and claim that he wrote it. But I have to warn you, just when you think you know what's going on, you're going to be wrong. This film is one that Christopher Reeve especially enjoyed doing because it gave him his first chance in a major movie to shed the Superman image he was so closely identified with at that time. Now, if you like mysteries, you'll have a great time with this one. We can talk about what I consider the miscasting after the movie. Here from 1982, directed beautifully by Sidney Lumet, here's Death Trap. Superman kissing Alfie? That came as a bit of a shocker to moviegoers in 1982. That smacker became the first thing most people mentioned after they saw this movie. I mean, hey, it was the early 80s. In order to prep for that scene, Michael Caine said that he and Chris Reeves sipped brandy all day to relax themselves in front of the 35 or so crew members on that set that very day. And said Michael, the two fellows, finally were actually quite drunk at the time, by the time they got that big moment. In his autobiography, Michael also commented that it was probably the tightest mouth screen kiss in the history of cinema. Now, before the movie, I mentioned that I felt one of the roles in this movie was miscast. Well, I'm a great admirer of the work of Diane Cannon, but I never felt she was the right one to play the wife in this movie. I mean, there's something about Diane Cannon that's very strong and sturdy, and she never struck me as somebody who would ever remotely be considered somebody you could scare to death. I think the role needed somebody much more fragile and breakable, and that does not describe Diane Cannon, at least not to me. Up next, more of tonight's Sydney Lament Marathon. This time it's a very moving, very highly underrated drama from 1988, which stars Judd Hirsch, Christine Lottie, and the wonderful River Phoenix.